Before that, we had Patricio Pitbull versus uh, Kleber. Is it Koiki? Koiki? Who knows, man? Kleber. <laughs> Kleber, so. He's seen Bonsai uh, too, though, with Satoshi. Dude, this is another walkout where <laughs> yeah. you have so much going on. You have a Pitbull walking out, and he with is the, in this, like, Spartan. The pregnant Spartan. <laughs> yes, and then behind him, somebody from his corner is wearing the Jason mask. The Jason mask, yeah. And I'm like, what is going on right now? What kind of Japan, partnership is this? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, this fight was a little slower for me. I felt like uh, Pitbull came out and was very cautious This the, one, the entire three rounds. Yeah, I mean, Pitbull's past his prime at this point by a few amount of years, I think. Um, I think... This was uh I, I don't know how Pitbull won this fight, if I'm being honest. This is this I thought I thought this was a clear win for Claver. Um yeah, Pitbull really just didn't do much of anything. <laughs> he no. he walked him down. Uh he walked him down. And he might have won in um in Bellator rules, to be honest, but um that's not necessarily how the scoring works over in Ryzen. And he did walk him down. He had him Claber in the corner pretty much the entire fight, but then would just kind of stand there while Claber is throwing like tapping body kicks, tapping leg kicks, going up the middle with the front kick, um, and then and then it was Claber who was also pushing the pace uh, in the grappling, where he was landing. He landed a couple of trips. Even when he was on his back, he would pull, he pull guard a couple of times where he would clinch up, pull guard. It's not like Pitbull took him down. He would pull guard, and then he's just immediately working off his back, landing elbows, landing nasty, kind of nasty shots, honestly, off his back, while Pitbull's just trying to disengage. He's not even trying to land any shots of his own. He's trying to get out of there while Kleber's kind of chewing him up in his guard. That hip toss at the end of the first round, too, by Kleber was so nice, man. Ooh, so cool. I mean, uh, Pitbull rolled second. with it, and he just kind of like yeah. shoved him right off afterwards, but it was such a nice hip toss. But he still hit the switch. Yeah, he still yeah. hit the toss, yeah, <laughs> which is all that sick. matters, <laughs> especially with sick. 10 seconds left. Um but yeah, I don't. I don't know. Pitbull. He did land a good shot. Uh, he definitely had the more damaging as far as like um, like the power behind his shots. Um, but he just barely threw. He just never. He just didn't throw enough. And like, yeah. I I just don't know how Claver lost this fight. To be honest, it's kind of. And a- uh, after the first round, I thought maybe Pitbull's just like you said, Bellator style, just kind of trying to to win the end of the round. So at the judges' last yeah. memory of the round was Pitbull being more aggressive and landing some more shots. And uh, there was a. A very clear uh, difference in size, of course. I think it was like a, yeah. a five-inch difference in height, a six-inch difference in reach. So mm-hmm. uh, I can understand why people would be more cautious in closing the distance. Yeah. Um, but not much happened. <laughs> but he would happened. try to work his way in. Yeah. 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 And and the way the way scoring works in in Ryzen, it's not it's not round by round. It's the fight as a whole. It's damage, aggression. And control in that order and the way it works is damage counts for 50 points so whoever does the most damage gets 50 points throughout the whole fight whoever is the more aggressive one pushing the pace pushing the action actively looking to uh i think they classified as like actively looking to finish the fight uh that's 30 points and then whoever controls the fight gets 20 points so mm-hmm. i don't know how i i just don't see how people won this fight to be honest yeah, uh, I mean, you see, like in the picture here, it's not like uh, Kleber didn't land any shots of his own. No, and it's like, okay, who's more aggressive? Pitbull maybe threw like harder punches, like he was throwing more like aggressively, technically, um, like they looked more vicious. But Kleber was the one who was pushing the pace on the feet, and he was the one pushing the pace on the ground to the point where he's pulling guard and starts chewing him up. He's landing hip tosses. He he landed an inside trip that was really nasty. Um, like that's aggression. That's aggressive. Uh, I don't know. How, I I don't know. Kind of weird. Yeah. There was two. Very there weird. was two that I would have given to Ryzen that that didn't go to Ryzen. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah. Another one of the like questionable things that happened uh, last night that you were probably mentioning, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely one of them. And then there, there's two more later. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer because I thought Claver won this, and I, that would have been big for him. Um, but oh well, these yep. things happen in, in MMA. How good are those gloves, though? Damn! Oh, they're sick. the The dark green. Yeah, it just looks so cool. Color. Oh my! There, it was super nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, before that, <laughs> we had. Uh... It was so awkward, oh, yeah, yeah. dude. I don't... <laughs> the 
picture. Thanks, Rich. The whole, the, <laughs> the whole post fight with Pitbull was just so awkward. It looked like he like didn't know where he was and was like, what is that? I've never had this happen at the end of a fight, even though he has, <laughs> he's been there. And the thing is, like, uh, so this funny. is another thing that really uh, stuck out to me last night was this is why these organizations <laughs> have figured it out in the U.S. and they don't just hand the mic over to the fighters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, specifically with another fighter we'll talk about later on, but <laughs> this is one of those awkward moments where he's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. You know, he looks just... like a kid. <laughs> He looked like a kid, like he like at like a new school or something, and like there's like a bunch of stuff happening that like all the other kids are used to, and he's just like, <laughs> it was so funny, dude. It was so, so funny. funny. <laughs> hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description. And it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.